Yeah, I'd say there's one word that describes Mitch McConnell's attitude on this vital issue of life and death, and that is duck. Duck, because he's saying, let the president decide. But then he was asked here, do you support universal background checks for commercial sales? And he ducked again. He's afraid of this issue, but that's not what a leader should be doing. Would Democrats support a red flag law absent passage of H.R. 8? Look, our goal is to get a vote on H.R. 8. Uh, Senator Blumenthal is working on a red, fl red flag law, or an emer um, we don't want to call it a uh, red flag. What were the words? It's a severe. Yes, E R E. Extreme. Extreme risk protection. We want to call that it that. Um, the House has a very strong bill. We don't know where uh, these negotiations between Senator Blumenthal and Senator. Uh, Graham will come, but we are insisting on a vote on background checks because just if you have an extreme protection law and someone, let's say John Jones, has an order against him and there's no background check, John Jones can go to a gun show or online and buy the gun anyway. So you need background checks to make an extreme protection law, the so-called red flag law, work. Mitch McConnell was here just a few minutes ago and he says at your press conference with the mayor of Dayton yesterday. It's theatrics. What's your response? Shame on him. There are people who died. Shame on him. Put the bill on the floor and stop ducking the issue and calling names. Shame on him. Thank you, everybody.